Hey Leo, welcome to the Sacred Sage. This is your end of December 2018 special reading. I call it special because it's unlike the weekly readings. This is going to be a roundup of the entire year and uh, we are going to try and figure out where your energy is right now so that you can plan for 2019 in a more informed uh, and a spiritually evolved way. All right. Now these are general readings, so I would insist that you check out the readings for your sun sign, moon sign and rising sign so that you find all those messages that the universe probably wants to give to you right now in this moment. By the way, I forgot to ask you, have you subscribed to our channel just as yet? If you've not, then you must do that because we love you all and I definitely want you to uh, come share, like, comment, tell me more about yourself, what is it that you're going through so that we have this conversation alive and uh, I could probably help you get more specific guidance for you. Nonetheless, you always have the option of writing to me and booking a personal reading or just say hello, <laughs> wish Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. Okay, let's get started with your reading. Uh, the first card up there is the temperance card. So obviously a lot of balance coming into your life in case you were feeling out of place in case. I mean, I think for a lot of Leos or fire signs in particular, there could be a possibility that you've been slightly more aggressive. Uh, and frustrated with the situation, maybe because of things not moving forward or um, you having too many expectations from life or situation or even people and then you've been feeling let down. So it's, it's just been lack of balance. Temperance also is Sagittarius energy. So maybe this is about a Sagittarian who was there in your life or who is still there in your life. And if it is, and if it is about your personal side of relationship, then I must say that it reflects that maybe at some point in your life, if not in the recent past, and it could be possibly both, you've been sexually involved with a Sagittarian and there was something about this that was uh, still under the wraps, right? So th there was some truth about this Sagittarian equation that you had, whether the, you were dating a Sagittarius person, man or woman, or uh, you were very close to the Sagittarius person, could be a colleague or a family member also. Uh, someone who was in your close relationships, some truth about this person is going to come out, you know, um, something that led to a fight, something that led to argument, something that uh, was like a let down a tower moment for you, right? So what I'm getting intuitively is that if you were dating a Sagittarius person and this person was very close to you, a lot of passionate energy and everything was going fine, but then suddenly you had a breakup and you couldn't really figure out, or maybe suddenly there were so many fights and battles, or, you know, maybe you were not able to see eye to eye with this person and then there was this moment of collapse, right? There is some truth about this whole story that happened in your life and it it, it is going to reveal to you that something about this was not known to you at that time when the tower happened. So if you broke up with this person, then somebody is going to come and tell you the truth about the breakup, which is going to be an eye opener or a moment of truth for you. Um, the truth may come into you from an air sign because there's a lot of swords energy. So it could be a Libra, Gemini or Aquarius. Um, and it's also coming to you from a female who, who, who speaks, uh, who speaks to the point. There is no messing around, no fooling around with this person. This is a woman who um, knows her position in life, is somewhat in authority, could be dominating also. And this woman just stands up to tell you that, hey, you know what? That thing that happened to you with that Sagittarius, uh, oh, that was because of this, this and this. And you will be like, really? And what was I doing all this while? How come I didn't know about it, right? So there is this moment of truth, which is going to force you to look back at life, whether this breakup happened right now, or it is something that happened in the past, you're going to just revisit the entire journey, you're connecting with yourself, and you're trying to find your own answers, right? You're going to get into the hermit mode, where solitude and uh 
connection with your soul is what will help you find your real answers. I think it's time when the universe wants to reveal the truth about that relationship to you so that you can finally evolve. If it means that you have to release, uh, forget and forgive, then so be it. If it means that you need to work on it, then yeah. I, I think when this truth is being revealed to you, there would be some part of you which will be like, you know what, I really worked hard, right? I made a lot of effort to make that relationship work. However, I don't know why it collapsed. Now, if you didn't know just as yet, then towards the end of December, you surely will get to know. And there's a woman, uh, someone who's dominating and probably an air sign who's going to come and disclose this truth to you. And maybe that's why the balance, right? It's possible that you not knowing the entire truth led to a lot of misunderstanding. It's possible that you lost out on the balance of life or this whole event transformed your life in more than many ways. And you were struggling to find balance within yourself and even in your life. But with this truth, after you accept the truth and uh, go through the whole realization and evolution and then evolve to a state where you can forgive people and forget the past and, you know, heal the wounds and move forward that's when a balance will come to you so i think uh, as you enter into 2019 you would be uh, much more sorted with respect to this aspect of your life uh, just before we end i need to tell you that uh, january 2019 is a very, very happening year. I mean, uh, January is going to be a uh, very happening as the start of the year because uh, we've got two eclipses over there, right? Uh, f- 5th of January 2019 is the solar eclipse and that's followed by the lunar eclipse, which is happening on the 22nd of January. So yeah, two eclipses back to back. Definitely end of a lot of karmic cycles, definitely start of a new cycle. And at the end of the day, spiritually, whatever doesn't serve you will be taken away from you. So eclipses by default bring in a very heavy energy which forces us to get over everything that doesn't serve us as we move on in our higher spiritual path right so i wish you all the best have a great time and a great 2019 cheers bye bye